Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I would have a story time. Um, I'm at work, as you can see. Night shift is usually not busy, so that's why I'm able to have some time. Um, but I wanted to have a story time about the time where my daughter was attacked by a pit bull. So, this happened about, should be 6th in February. So, um, she was probably about five months or so and she was it was on Mother's Day um well no she was she was about oh well, you know what she was about a year she was not a couple of months she was about a year um but um it was on Mother's Day and she was with my in-laws I had to work the night before so, um, they were, my children were at my in-law's house, um, but I got off work, I made my mom her gift, I, um, went on about my normal little day, I went to get some rest, and then I got a phone call that my daughter had been attacked, um, and, you know, trying to figure out, well, what happened, she was attacked by a pit bull. So my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my um, my husband's grandmother went to um, my husband's uncle's house, my mother-in-law's brother. Um, he, the uncle was in another location of the house. His wife opened the door, <clears throat> letting the um, pit bull out of the house. The pit bull charged to my um, father-in-law who was holding my baby in the car seat and he kind of held her up so that the dog wouldn't get to her when he saw how vigorously he was trying to get to her. Um, at which point the dog knocked my father-in-law down and tried to um, get my baby um, from the car seat would try to take off after the car seat because when my father-in-law went down he let go of the car seat um, and the dog charged to um, the to my baby but my mother-in-law threw herself over um, the dog I mean over my baby threw herself over my baby um, and she was attacked by the dog by, you know, just from simply trying to protect my baby. My husband's grandmother was knocked over by the dog and she was elderly. So she, she was, um, she had some pretty extensive damage from, um, that as well. Um, so throughout all of that, the ordeal was only a few minutes, but just to get a call that your baby has been attacked um, by a pit bull, nevertheless. Like, I've, I've never had an issue with a pit bull. I used to have a pet um, pit bull when I was growing up. His name was Kane. He was a beautiful blue nose pit, solid white, just a beautiful, beautiful dog, loving, silly, just a beautiful, kind-hearted dog, like I said before. Um, so to have my child attacked by a pit bull was difficult for me. Um, I don't really trust the dog. The dog has since passed away. He was a puppy when he did all of this damage. So um, that lets you know just how crazy that particular dog was. Now I'm not saying that all pit bulls are like this because like I said, I grew up with one. He never attacked us he was always protective of us <clears throat> but he never attacked us excuse me um but I, like i said the my mother-in-law threw herself over my baby to keep the dog from essentially murdering my baby <clears throat> the dog took the tip the the tip of my mother-in-law's nose 
off like it was gone just the tip of her nose and my daughter had a slice going through her ear um, from the dog's tooth so that's all the dog got of her <clears throat> they stitched her ear up um, and said that we could take her to a plastic surgeon if um, when she gets older after everything on her stopped growing and was where it was going to be um, we could take her to a plastic surgeon and they could um, perfect it but she's six she well, she'll be six in February and her ear looks perfectly fine like I can see a, a little divot in her ear because I'm her mom and I know it's there um, <clears throat> excuse me but looking at her no one can tell that she has been attacked by a dog now she is um, she is afraid of dogs slightly larger frogs dogs she likes little dogs like little Shih Tzu or Lhasa Apso or you know little lap dogs she's fine with lap dogs um, we have a guinea pig we don't have a, a dog but she is perfectly fine with little dogs I noticed a fear in her when she sees a larger dog um, she's the only one of our kids that has that sort of dog fear but um, I do not have that fondness for pit bulls as I had before like I want a dog I would love to have a dog but I want something like a Newfoundland or um, you know something that's like big and hairy like a Mastiff or something like that one of those big thick dogs kind of look like a horse um, <laughs> um, my husband wants a, um, a, a dog like Wishbone what, what kind of dog was that I can't think of the name of that breed, but everybody remember what story, wishbone, like a dog like that. An, oh, it's a terrier, um, some sort of terrier. But we don't have a dog. Um, we'll probably get one when we move into a, a bigger house. But for now, we don't have a dog for that reason. Um, as much as our family loves dogs, just, you know, not to scare our daughter. But, um. That is my story time. She is healed up nicely. She is a beautiful girl today. Um, and she has no memory of the attack, but she does remember um, the dog, essentially. Um, but like I said, the dog has since passed away. I believe he was still kind of like in the puppy ages when he passed away. He was probably about two or two two and a half, three, um, when he died, but he was such a wild, wild dog, um, a brindle pit bull, if I'm not mistaken, he was a little brindle, um, the uncle has another pit bull as well, who is very sweet and kind, loving, and, like, she was, she, she was, like, nanny in Peter Pan how the the kids just like flew to her and she was loving and giving them kisses and giving them medicine I mean like his dog doesn't give out medicine but still she's just a really loving dog so we we love her but um I was not a particular fan of the other one but that is my story for today of how my daughter was attacked by a pit bull and I'm very blessed to still have my daughter I'm very thankful to still have my daughter but that is my story time so thank you for watching please be sure to like subscribe and hit that bell for more videos like this more story times like this thanks for watching bye